with our boats in the Adam Bridge area. How you doing, Bob? That was a big long session I done yesterday. Everything got filthy. Lifting boats out of the water and dripping it all over the car. If I do it now with the squirties, that'll make it worse, so I won't do it. Bye, Diana. Hey Robert, how you doing? How's things? Hi Alan. to get a few roach and bream if you can get them feeding. Maybe some nice perch. I was out all day yesterday for about 14 hours on the broads. I had nearly 300 fish. Video will be coming soon. Sorry about the screen, there's not really much we can do right this minute. Joe's going to pop in the garage in a second and get a drink, so I'll see if there's anything in there to wipe it. The sun right in my eyes.
hundreds of everyone got around their areas and we've got 31 at the moment. You too, Robert. Everything's going all right. Got plenty of videos coming out soon for you. Some nice long ones as well. The big perch was called bread play during the bread thing. To bread? Wow. I reckon that thought that was a fish or something. It's unusual for perch to take bread. Is it not really take one take one? See? <laughs> that makes the catch even more special, doesn't it? It's a big fish anyway, but let's catch it on bread as well. I normally find if you chop up some worms, a bunch of maggot, a bunch of worms, it's good for the perch down the sides, close in. We well, need a three pounder yet though, but with a couple sort of two and a half, two and three quarter. Look like on it. Strange. You can see the same markings on it, could you? I suppose when they're feeding, they're feeding, they're feeding aren't they? This spot where I'm going in a minute, there's a known perch under the bushes that has meant to be over five pounds but very hard to catch. Big fish. It's come out a couple of times. I'll be quite happy just to get a few bites down here today.
else go out on the first day of the season then? Diane. Is he? People fishing there, there, there. Yeah, lots of people fishing down Cottershaw. Absolutely packed with people. I bet they're all sunburned. And they're drinking. It's going to have a rough old night. Yeah. <laughs> Push your bread for the bigger rod. Yeah, nice. I normally get the bigger rod on again on bunches of worms, but I do that on purpose in case a big perch take it. So you got the best of both worlds. Had a couple last season, uh, two and a half pounders. Now quite a few around the two pound mark. I'd love to get one over three. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be going down them areas over this river season. Nearly there, just up the road now. So I'm just going to quickly stop at the shop, just to grab a bottle of water so you stay, uh, stay hydrated because of the temperatures. Two seconds, Joe, just gonna go and grab some drinks. Otherwise, that'd be way too hot. And it's obviously dangerous to sit in this hot heat. But I'm here if you want to ask me any questions or anything. Yeah, the bunches of worms are definitely the, the way to do it. What I do is I use a size eight hair rig. Which I normally use for carp fishing and stuff like that. And then you can put the bunches of worms on with the little stop on the end, and then you don't lose the worms. Put quite a few on, cut up like three or four worms, and put a big bunch on, and that'll get you a lot more bites. But definitely make sure you cut them up because if you don't chop them up, you don't get the bites. You have to be letting the juices out of the worms. I've never failed to catch any, like, I've got lots of videos on my channel of me catching the rod like that. Couple of people on their big bikes. If you wonder, if you wonder what the noise is. I've caught them on both, but mm, I would say it's probably easier to catch them on the ledger. Plus, like I say, you got a good chance of a really big perch as well, so probably better to be on the bottom. Another thing they seem to like is um, sweet corn. Again, a couple of big grains. They seem to like the bigger baits, the, you know, the bigger fish. You might have to look, wait you know, a little bit longer for a bite, but you'll get a bigger fish. No. <laughs> Hi Peter, how you doing?
<laughs> I'm on a taxi. Well, yeah, I am sometimes, but not for just anyone off the street. <laughs> Yeah, they're going up and they're going to be over two pounds soon as well in the next few days. Crazy, isn't they? I probably should have turned the car off now while she's in the shop, but... <laughs> oh, the heat's unbelievable. I'm hoping I can find a... Uh, a shady breezy spot it's going to cool me down a little bit because I've been working hard all day I haven't even been online or anything today I've just been getting on what I've had to do catching up a bit because I was off all day yesterday and all night yesterday on a fishing trip Yes, Diane. Yeah, it's a fishing trip. I ain't read it in the title, have I? I just thought about it, now you said that. I haven't read it fishing, have I? <laughs> Hopefully I'll get a few fish, well, I'll certainly have a go. I haven't brought loads of gear with me, but I brought enough to do what I need to do. Joe's behind the shop. No one answered me with the what the temperatures are where you live. Hi Michael, how you doing? Yeah, I should have read fishing, shouldn't I? <laughs> I can't come out of it now because that will obviously shut down. That's a shame. Um, Twenty-three there. Oh, you got it a lot cooler than what we have then. It's Thirty-one here. Thirty degrees in Nottingham. Yep. Pretty warm, isn't it? Women boys are bent, they have been seen. Yeah, they thought it was a taxi, they wanted to get in. <laughs> I thought, what? Do I look like a taxi? Then I thought, oh, hang on, I am a taxi sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just not for anyone. One was at the till, and then next thing, there was, there was like 10 of them in there. There's the river. The horse time. I forgot to write fishing in the title. Yeah. I'm live at Horford's Mill. Yeah. <laughs> Better go make a walk. Yeah, I can't edit it. Yeah. I can't yeah, touch it. You might be able to do it. Because you're a friend. Down the end of this road, then hopefully, there's not loads of people all over the bank. 30 degrees there, is it, Robert? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's pretty hot, isn't it? If you're stuck out in the actual sun, you're going 
you soon get sunstroke. I always try and stay in the shade in the sunny weather. I don't mind in the evening if that's you know, low temperatures. But when that's full on in the middle of the day, I stay out. But it's pretty packed down here, so I'm going to guess there's either something on in the concert hall thing down the end there, or there's loads of people in the river and their canoes and stuff. Just looking that packed, I might not be able to park. Wow. Yeah, you should, you should have thought, the cost oh, in about there. that, people have paddled down here, don't they? You and yeah. your bird fish down here, I'll have to go somewhere else, right? I'll go where I said. Mm. I was just going to try this one first, but this is crazy. Mm. <laughs> it's a popular spot because people like... They swim, look, they're just a swim. Yeah, people swimming. in the water and everything, I'll show you in a minute. You can fish. <laughs> yeah, well, I better go in there. Oh, well, yeah, actually. Yeah. It's difficult. Sound like an alien. Well, that's well. Oh, look at us. <laughs> Just trying to find somewhere to park at the moment, everyone. Oh, Obviously, we're going to have to copy these people up here. Mm. Don't want to block anyone's gates or anything. Mm. Yep, should be able to squeeze in in front of this car here. Yeah. I'll just go and turn around for on the way out. Never actually been up this road, I didn't actually know there was a road here. I don't know if we can get to the river any further up here. We shan't today, but we'll certainly have a look another day. It's definitely a breeze in the shade, which is nice, and that what we want. Yeah, probably not that spot then. It might be. Fish are there because they were, yeah. but I don't mean they are down with the They won't scare them off, they live there. <laughs> right, just bear with me, I've got to get my gear and stuff out. And... What, you didn't want me to check first? No. <laughs> There's a whole river right around there, we'll find mm. a spot. If I see much of like five kids and then people on you watch. So I ain't brought a towel with me. Damn. Instead of taking all of this, we'll just put a little bit in this tub. Oh, the porn doesn't smell too good. And then again yesterday. And there we'll be. Oh, my bed keep coming open. I'm trying to see in the dark. Do you need your backpack for anything? No, no, no. Alright everyone, let's get you on the stand. Oh, bear with me a sec. 
Hopefully that's going to let me do this. Hopefully we've got a black screen. So I've had to put you in the power pack and on the stand. You know what I'm looking at? I'm going to carry all this through like that. We still there, everyone? Let me know if we're still clear screen. How you doing, Ian? We're just struggling around the gear, so I might be a little bit wobbly until we get around there. Let me widen up your picture a bit. Whew. Yeah, it's the only trouble with the mill down here. It's very popular for swimming. But there is a lot of fish in there. It's just when you get a chance to fish it. <laughs> you have to come down at midnight or something. That's good, Ian. See, there's spots and stuff down there where they're on them boats down there, but... We need to get away from the swimmers because obviously it's going to disturb the, swish, uh, the fishing. Not the swishing, the fishing. <laughs> Never seen it so packed before, to be honest. It's really, really packed. Three people here. <laughs> Bit packed. Excuse me. Are you going with People are literally just parking wherever they can. Can't blame them putting themselves in the water, but. They're absolutely jam packed. We were gonna we were gonna fish that bank over there, but clearly not. <laughs> Hey, if you're not getting copyright on the music. It's very busy here, just a bit. Hopefully where I'm now going won't be. Didn't even think about that, to be honest. It's a good job there's more spots. 
the arms are dropping off. Yeah, hopefully it won't plan long enough to worry about. In trouble here, someone else might have the same idea. Oh. Yep, <laughs> there's a few here. Oh. Alright, mate, how are you getting on? Any good? No, just started. No starting, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. We're nearly there, we're going to fish on this little outlet here. I've always wanted to fish here anyway, so I sort of worked out okay. What we got was a, like an outlet through there. And then that flows off into the river. I think we'll actually fish the outlet. See how we get on. Oh, my arms are falling off. Give me two minutes to get set up. And we'll see if we can get a few fish. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's two more fish. As you probably saw, there's one next to me and there's one a bit further up. It's both fishing. One's on a boat. Same as what we do. Oh, there's another chap across there. Another chap over there as well. So the area must be doing okay, hopefully. Before I set these up, I'm going to... Oh, really? I reckon they all watched Neville's team. Red one? Oh, what? Where is it? Leaving the car, did you? Or no. did you not bring it? Left it in the unit, I think. Oh, That's not good. It's a good start. Left the breadcrumb in the unit. <laughs> we want to get that in there. I'm ready. But there we go. Got loads of other stuff. Let's get some hemp down there. See if that'll produce a few fish. There's some over there, I smell that. What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep feeding the swim like that. That should produce a few little bites, hopefully. Hi Barry, how you doing? Ooh. See if we can find a few fish. Just got a nice tiny little rod with me. Six foot ten. I was saying earlier, I was on the board yesterday for about 16 hours, so there's a good video coming soon. I actually got about six hours of footage, but I've shortened it down to about three with the editing and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, and Weapon Joe with the rod. Oh, here come a boat. I think there's a few people that are starting to do that now. I think our videos are making them more popular as well. Quicksilver, nice boat.
plenty of people out enjoying themselves. We've got a shady spot, but it's still pretty warm. How you doing, Megan? What should we put on down in here? Victor only bought one rod, just to have a little Yeah, go. just to one rod, just have a little, just to go in the breeze really and cool down a bit. I'm going to go for a... Free BB little stick float. And what I'll do is I'll trot along where the flow is going through. Look at all them dragonflies. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. There's loads down there. There's like three or four pairs of bullets, isn't it? I'm going to start off on a bit smaller hook. Let's just see if we can hook whatever's down there. And then if we start to find some bigger fish, we we'll change over to a bigger hook. Oh, fish just rose then. Rose that was yeah, good. Good. Mm, I think maybe we'll go slightly bigger then. Things, eh? Yeah, I think we'll go with a 14 instead of an 18. Just in case. A nice size chub or something like that. We don't want to lose it, do we? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably that big. <laughs> <laughs> Happy people on the river today. <laughs> probably had a couple of beers, but can't blame yeah, them, can you? The heat, They're probably on holiday as well, so can't blame them at all. Yeah. Don't know what sort of depth we've got down here, so we'll have to sort that out as well. I'm nearly set up. Probably come through Potter Harbour, right? Yeah, or we'll probably some cotter shuttle down that way somewhere. It's nice just to get on your boat and never wander sometimes. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good to see that fish come up just now. It's, oh. it's been a couple of ones come up. Don't know what everyone else is fishing for, but probably same as me. It could be piking or something like that, or going for perch. See if it flew. I don't know how that chap got to that side. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay, go to that side. There's three over there, so someone should start catching. Hopefully, that'll be us. Ooh. 
Still slightly too high. Too much for the free BB. <laughs> you know what I like. We can put a bait on. I reckon them shoppers can that a drink all day because some of them look really cold. Yeah, probably. I reckon they've been restocking them all day. Mm -hmm. Surprise me. Oh, look. Ooh, nice big fish. Hopefully they're finding our hemp. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll put it down in the flow and I'll put it in the flow and that'll end up over there. And I'll just keep done. That's what you do. But I've got to get the depth in that right. Because I want to fish on the bottom really. Good breeze there, eh? it's one good thing. Yeah, it's got nice commentary through there. Look. I thought they would be, but I thought it would be from the other bank where we were going to fish over there. <laughs> Alright, everyone, let's get a bait on and see if we can get a few bites. Should we go from first? Should we just put a couple of maggots on to start with, I think? Yeah. See if we can just get two things nibbling. <laughs> yeah, I've got some prawns that I took with me yesterday under the broads. And they're not smelling too great, as you can probably imagine. Because they've been in storage all night. <laughs> Maggots is getting to the point where they're past it as well, but it'll be alright for this session. Go for a red and a white. Where am I, Diana? Horsted Mill, on the Norfolk Broads. Well, I'm not quite. I'm not in the mill now. I'm a bit further around, but Cotshill River. Right, first cast. Let's see what happens. And it just dropped through the whole swim like so. Uh, it's gone already, but I doubt it's a bite. It's probably catching on weed. We we'll have to adjust it until we get it right. Seem to be going through quite nicely. It's a case where we can get a bite now. Very hard to see what's bites. And we'll know when the float disappear. Hopefully we'll get the bite. Over the other side there, where it's no going. Yeah, that was a bite, I think. Hi Major, how you doing? Mm -hmm. 
let it go right across as far as the other bank. That's pretty much where all the food and everything's going to sit if we keep feeding. There's a lot of bubbles come up at the end of the swim, that's the good news. It probably means they're settling on the hemp then. We'll let the float go as much as we can along that side because it's in a nice spot. Bite, see if the bait's damaged, see if we had a bite or not. Oh, is that hitting the camera? <laughs> is the maggot gone? But Do is just let a couple of bits of bread go through and just see if there's anything come up. Oh, fish are taking it off the top. There are more in that riddle than there That's are good news. Just wasn't so. We'll wait until they're bigger fish there, I think. But that means there's fish there, so we're doing the right thing. Can we get them down on the bottom, or do we need to get them on the top? I'm going to try and put a prawn on them. Very soft. I'm not sure they're going to stay on. I'm going to try that. They'll definitely come up on the top for that bread. It's gone. It's a lot of bugs. Going through a bit slower now with the bigger bait on it. Is it going to get taken? Do we need to shallow up slightly and stop it dragging the bottom? Some things have got to work out. Hard to tell. That was a fish. Mm -hmm. There is fish in the area, definitely. We've got some paddle boarders coming through, so I've got to make way with them. Oh, no swimmers. Oh, no swimmers. Yeah.
first bite. I wonder if that'll scare the fish a bit. More than likely. Okay. What fish are in here? Uh, perch, rod, roach. You're all on YouTube, so wave. Well, it's probably disturbing things a little bit. <laughs> Make sure we don't catch some people, yeah. That'd be a PB. <laughs> yeah, it'd be different. A bit of shallow upside in just in case I'm dragging the weed on the way through. Yeah, they said it's quite weedy down there, but Lilies are. Yeah, about around their legs, they said. We can't get some proper bites and start landing some fish and we'll come up onto the surface and we'll get them fish on the surface there. What is that major? <laughs> Did you ever go at them? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to share the river with everyone, that's the thing. A lot of people do swim in this river every day, even in the winter. type of fish I'm not bothered <laughs> they're still down on my baits yeah, people are incredible but down that way and they come out from there so that will just go around they go around yeah you can go off to cottage or you can go around towards the mill all right we're going through again going through fast a bit low because we've got a big lump of bread on but I can still see it. That's where we want the bite down the bottom there really. I don't know why it's lifting up, that's a bit strange. That could be a bite. No, still got bait on. And if we're getting caught in weed or what, we're going to have to work it out. We might have to come up to her half depth or. They must be quite long faces, they're about around their legs. Yeah, they're on the bottom, that's only water at the most. Yeah, it could be, well, yeah, make the water dark, which they won't be able to see us so much. Keep getting what look like bites, but I'm not sure if it's dragging the weed. I might have to come up, come right up in the water and sort of half a depth from going, go two foot, something like that. We'll work it out until we start getting some proper bites. It's all part of fishing.
So then if that don't work, I'm pretty sure we can come up on the surface and get a couple. Just want to know if there's any big chub and stuff like that, really. Right, shallowed right up now to about two, two and a half that. More paddle boarders. To get peace and quiet on here, I reckon you'd have to come at midnight. <laughs> so we'll still get them little knocks like their bites. I've gone a lot shallower now. Got the bread. It's fishing now. Did you see that one jump? <laughs> Just in case they find out what they want to take. Key said, Is that what the PB stands for? Paddle waters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> I know one thing, it's definitely a lot cooler than sitting in my house. I'm going to come a load more. We're going to struggle here, I think, at the moment. So we wanted to go through it nice and slowly like that so we could see what a bite is. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stephen's about, I can see him putting posts up on Facebook. How deep is it? Uh, it's about four foot. But there's a lot of weed and stuff on the bottom, so you can't go at the right depth. So I'm sure that was a bite, but not connecting, so.
of these people here, you think they'd have a chip or a burger man or something around here? They've made loads of them. Hmm, I suppose, yeah. You have to get permission there. Mm -hmm. I suppose if you want to the swimming, that's probably not going to Fish on! on. <laughs> it's not very big. <laughs> but it's a fish. No blank. I don't know if you can as a fish. Oh, it's a dace. <laughs> I ain't caught a dace for a long time. That's good. I'm quite chub with that actually. Mr. Dace. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> right, so we're uh, on the board. <laughs> So let's keep feeding that. Every probably on that five or six casts, something like that. Just keep them interested. Don't want too much down there because it's going to go down to the bottom. But they also bring fish into the area. Oh, got a dangle. What's going on there? Some fish like moving baits and other fish like it once that's go static and stay still. Oh, fish just jumped running to the float and there as you can see that. How you doing Roger? We're on one dace at the moment. We've only had like three or four casts. So not too bad. I'm just trying to work out the swim. I can see fish coming up further down at the bottom end of this flow where my float is now. I think I was in an ideal spot. Yeah. But, All okay. pigeons behind me in the trees, breaking the branches and stuff. <laughs> Where it is now, you'd think it'd be chopping that land, wasn't there? Also, then what I end up in the snag. I'll just bring it in slightly and let it move again. Could be going down a better spot, could it? There's another 10 ton of paddle balls down the left of us. Literally going right along the far bank to the right. Still fish jumping.
touched the bank. We don't need to do. I think they're fishing a jump and they're probably dace. It's quite a few of them, they're starting to get down there. Though. We'll try and hold a float in the middle of that lot and see if we can get a bite. Trouble is, that falls under. <laughs> coming up for them, they're taking bugs off the surface or something like that. Flies. More paddle borders, and we need more fish. Right near where my float is, it's just a case of getting them taken. So you bought a tissue. Do you want me? Still getting weed on these in the middle of these points there.
You know the dragonflies? Oh, that was a bite. <laughs> that was a shame. You didn't answer me, madam. I said, have you brought tissue with you? Got some, got some in the car, but ain't they good in the car? Yeah. You took me half over stuff today. Side of the drift. Oh, we're gone already. Yep, yeah, fish aren't. It's better on that side, obviously. Oh, there's a oh, bigger fish as well. <laughs> oh, that ain't fair. They're really soft. Mm. Just keep trying down that side then. That's so weird. The 14 hook might be a little bit too big for these days, unless we find some bigger ones. Fish jumping over the back there now as well. Yeah, there's a lot of paddle balls all over it. That's what's making them not very confident, probably. I think it'd be feeding on the bottom, but I suppose they get used to it as well. Twenty-eight people in, appreciate that. You can all hit the old thumbs up button, please. Helps the channel out. See if we can find any bigger fish coming up for the bits of bread. See what come up for this bread I've just chucked out. Still got a float down in close. Bread's now going for in the middle. Here they come. They're definitely like that. They're not that big, I don't think they're. Sometimes you can never tell. A big chub can take a bait really gently. There's a fair few of them by the looks of things there. Eh? 
All them ripple jiggers here at the bottom, they were all fish tame in the bread. Oh, it's gone, it might be in there. Don't know how they're getting away with it. They are. And none of that bread made it to the far bank, it's all gone. Hey Martin, how you doing? Just the one day so far. Oop, that was a good bite. And again, yeah, fish on. Nope, fish off. <laughs> they are there. Surprising, really, the paddleboard is not scaring off. See if we can get another one. I felt like a better fish that one. Oh, <laughs> we're getting bites. They're not staying on very well there. How you doing? Right. Is the water cold? Pardon? Is the water cold? Not easy, you know. No? I haven't been in, but I've put my feet in. It's quite yeah. nice, actually. Nice. Got <laughs> anything? Just little ones at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. No? No, no, no. Mm. Let's get on this video back there. Oh. That was something a bit better. Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, it's a bit further over, isn't it? Huh? That was alright, No, that was over back there. I needed a bit heavier float for that, but I weren't planning on doing that. Something a bit bigger it was coming up over the back there. I've got a light float on today. It was yesterday when I was fishing the boards, so I could have crossed right across the other side. <coughs> Tree. <laughs>
Yeah, let's, let's keep down where we're getting the bites, where we're feeding. Because obviously the fish are going to move on to the feed, hopefully. When's my next car video? Ooh, I don't know at the moment. I've been doing vehicles and stuff that I haven't been filming lately. Are you missing them, are you? Sure am. <laughs> I'll try and win the next one. Well, the next thing I bring in, I'll try and do a video. I'm doing some other stuff at the moment as well. Um, like caravans and trailers and all sorts of things. So. We're getting plenty of bites, so I think a lot of more small fish are. But then that last one we hooked up to weren't too bad, was it? Not too bad under it. That voice is quite nice. There's definitely plenty of fish on the surface there. I reckon if I went really shallow I'd probably get a lot more bites. But Thanks, Diana. See, that looks like a bite. Right, let's test the theory. Get it extra shallow.
Mm -hmm. just moving. I'm interested to know how he got there. Yeah, oh, he must have walked down from the bridge over there. Right, so we're going literally that now, which is still deep enough. We'll just see if I see if we get more bites. The boys having fun by the sound of things. Racing his dad down the river. Do you believe it's a fish, if we can call it a fish? Fishy! <laughs> Whoa! Well, <laughs> jumped out of my hand. That's normal. Let me show you one so you just actually get to see one. <laughs> Some soft grass here, so that's fine. So that worked, now can we put a bigger bait on and get a bigger one? A load more coming. <laughs> I think that's going to be the theme tonight. This probably won't be a good place to come for a while, I don't think. Put three maggots on this time and see what happens. Oh, got caught on something down there, I think. Surely I won't bite already.
and fish around the float. What bird is that? Mm. You've seen one of them before. Mm. Got a strange bird sitting behind us. That's a bit old. Any ideas, anyone? <laughs> Never seen one of them before. Keep hearing stuff in there. Huh? I think I'll keep hearing stuff in there, but where are we? <laughs> the fish are around that area. I think we would have had more in the actual mill, but we didn't really get a choice. There's loads of them dice in the middle, eh? I think I have no idea where it's going, wouldn't I'm glad you like the fishing videos and the car stuff. Just letting that run all the way down the side of the river until it gets to a point where it's not worth any you know, to carry on. You never know, we might get a take down there. Let's try putting a bit of bread on and see what that does. And to go through there. It's 
you know they come to the surface, right? Try that, shall we? I'm gonna actually cast it into the area, like so. It's a bit more control of the line when I get over there. Yeah, there's a few fish moving about, isn't there? We've just got to get them feeding properly. I'm trying all different stuff. Put some more bread out there and see what that does. You see they're coming straight up for it, they want the bread on the surface, just don't want it about a foot down. Being off with one of these, so I'm going to have one of them in between doing this. I'm still watching the float. Oh. See, there's a couple of better fish coming over. Oh, really? Uh -uh. That was probably a pike or something there, or a perch. I've got a friendly duck next to you, over. The fish are getting it. Drifting right along the back of the bank again over the other side. I've got a number of bread on this time, so Let's see what happens. It's going a bit fast, really, but.
should wait with my seat back. Right down river this time, but we'll let it go as far as I can see it. Just in case. Mr. Duck right next to you. Yeah. How's it going? Isn't it? when you're drifting down a river like this that you get a lot of line all the way around. I've got some more in. Oh that was a bad fish. Much better fish. Oh it's jumping that's a trout. You see that? Watch this. It's a trout running along and jumping out the water. I see that. Oh what? Wow. Weren't expecting to see that. That cleared the water so I saw it. <laughs> ah, okay so that could mean Some donkeys out there on their cars, mm. trying to show off because there's so many people like that. All right, let's feed up again and see if we can get some of them on the surface. So after a hot day, I guess you're gonna they're gonna want to feed. No duck. <laughs> I didn't mean you. <laughs> that was a duck that's sitting next to Joe. That's the trouble now, I can't use the bread because of the duck. <laughs> Fishing the dot, how you doing? Rudy, how you doing? There's a bit more activity starting to happen. I think that's because that's starting to cool down. Hopefully. I'll find a few more fish starting to feed. I could have gone to some easier spots like Roxham or all sorts of other places on the broads. But I like to try some of these sort of areas as well, try new places. I've never fished this bit before. You never know what you're gonna get. Starting to go the other way, so hopefully. Yeah. Look for a chub. I'm quite surprised to see that trout, yeah?
thing is, what do I do? Do I go a bit deeper again and see what's happening? On the bottom there, I've been feeding it a lot. Saying that, let's feed it again. Yeah. We could go down there with a boat one day. Fish some of the bits that people can't get to. Yeah. Early morning, very late evenings, what are you going to get around these areas? Or is that that fun? Oh, he's still looking. Come on, Mr. Duck, we need to put some bread in. <laughs> what are you seeing? Give me a bit. Joe's just got a new pet. Do you have a pet duck? It's right there. <laughs> I just heard something come up a bit bigger than what we've been getting. Where was that? Over there, I see it. Right. Try a bit of sweet corn, a bit of colour. Does that make any difference? Let's see what's happening over the back of there. I've seen a few fish moving there. Just got to keep the line out of the flow. We'll feed some maggots down in the flow as well. See if we can get something happening. Wait, Mr. Duck, stay there. Wait, come here. <laughs> Mr. Duck's right next to us now. Oh, Mrs. Duck. Let's see if Mrs. Duck like prawns, shall we? Do you reckon that's Mrs. Duck? Yep, Mrs. Duck like prawns. That's fairly slow. There's a strong bit through the middle. That's fairly slow. That's quite nice. They definitely smell fishy. <laughs> cool. The prawns I'm talking about. Right, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna just let a bite on this one then. I'm gonna add some depth back in now, try and get on top of the feeder looking in. I hope there's a few fish down there. The duck's creeping behind me. I'm going to go red and white maggot. And go back through. See if anything's on the bottom now. I ain't gone too deep, but I'm going to catch on the weed, I shouldn't do. A bite. That's a bite. Can you all see the float going through, or is that hard to see on the live? You think all the fish should be on this outlet trying to get the oxygen because they're hot to spin today. Yeah, I'm, I'm trotting along the bank, but I've got a soft tip rod with me, so I could almost call that a quiver. <laughs> that is soft enough to do it, but there's a lot of weed on the bottom. Like, you know, the whole bottom, sort of Big clumps of it. So if I cast into anything, the bait would just disappear and with the lead, never get seen. trying to just go just above the weed and trot through along the far bank but that is doing And if that trout was just a lonely trout on its own, or there's some more of them coming through.
There's a float literally right on, the, on that far bank, just trotting along nicely. Which is exactly where you'd expect to get a nice bite, but it's not happening right now. Hard to tell, you don't know how many people were swimming in this bit all day there. No. Mm -hmm. Then people were swimming for a minute ago as well. Right under that bush, look, you couldn't get any closer to the bank if you wanted to. That was a better fish. There's points in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. I think there's points making that noise, isn't there? Yeah, there's all sorts of them. Must be having trouble. I'll be real lined up before you, <laughs> really. right next to it and I keep trying to flick the rod from underneath it and catching it when I'm casting to the other side. If you can all see the flow out there, I'm going to come out of the flow for a minute and have a little go. And you can see that, it's a bit of a still going to come down the river slightly and pull towards this flow. We'll have a couple of casts again, just see if there's anything down there. The next alternative is to just do floating bread along the surface. See if we can take a couple off the surface. Oh, oh that was a shame. <laughs> I was messing about with the bread then, we went right down, didn't we? Yeah, that went right under and went, but my fault. Maybe that's the thing to do, cast slightly upstream and let it drift through. Yep, no problem. Cheers for popping in. What did that go after? I took the white maggot, squished it to pieces. Alright, let's put double white on and see what that does. Let's try the same again. We'll cast it slightly upstream because it's going to drift anyway. Slightly of the picture, but that will be down in the picture before you know it. He says, and that's settled where I put it. <laughs> I'm not confident with that, I reckon probably sitting on weed. 
put it back where we had the bite just now. Going out of your picture. <laughs> People have been dared to jump in with those end of things. Some of the teenagers up the bridge right and they've got some. Oh, Come on, fishies. I know we've had two, but it'd be nice we could find a bit bigger one. People take the doors out and that's cooled down. Still fairly warm really up at the time of night.
on my screen. Dogs are wondering what's going on. Too many people about. It's making a lot of noise. <laughs> just chucking some bread around the area and just. Oh, ah, that was a bigger fish. That was a much better fish than the rod. That's what was exactly what I was hoping. Um, right. Is that when tried to it? No, but it's the trouble they're on the surface. Which means we've got to put all the weight up near the flute. Some of them are better fish now. I sat down but Look over this way, everyone. Let me adjust your legs. I'll just chuck a load of bread out, and we've got a few fish coming up, and some of them are a bit bigger. So, we're going to try a bit of floating crust. Hopefully it's going to float, and let it go down with the flow. Yep, yeah, it's floating. Now we want Mr Chubb to come and take it. Or Mr Trout, or whatever really. Is this a nice fish? Ooh. That was a much bigger fish. Well, it's right down there. Where did that bit right there? Let it go. All right, we're starting to work a few things out further down the river. Down that way a bit. There's some bigger fish coming up, as you can probably see. We've just got to let our bread get round there now, and hopefully something will take us. For some reason, they're struggling to drift round with the bread on the surface. You can hear fish taking bread like it sounds like a carp, but there is any carp here. Some of these are definitely not dace, because they're way too big. Our float's in a good area, let's see our bread. Oh, something just said to go out of bread. One of the bigger ones, please. They're starting to go down the river, is that what we want it to do? The only trouble is we've got so much slack line out. If we need to strike, that's going to be hard work. It'll be a case of reeling down really, really fast and striking. Oh, that was a big fish. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get down that way. I can slowly go down that way as it is now. Let's hope someone come up and take our bread. We're drifting right down the perfect spot. We just need one of them fish to take it now. Oh, this is the only bit of bread there now, so... 
Yeah. They are there. For some reason, they're coming up on the surface. Float's in a really good spot. Still drifting down. This remind me of fishing on the River Tass. Waiting for a big trout to come up. Here we chug. Come on, we're in the perfect spot. <laughs> it's crazy. Could do a bit more break going around near our one really, but the only one they got to take is our one, so. Take it. <laughs> can still see the bread, even though it's right down there, next to the float. Well, I say next to the float, but two foot away from it. She needs something good enough to swallow the whole bit. And hope it will be in. They're still taking them around the corner. We're getting down that way now. We're getting right down the river now. If we get a take down there, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Come on, something to take it. It's in the perfect spot. That's it. It's right down there. Yeah, one. <laughs> 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 you hear them under there? What's that cut? Huh? No, can you hear us? Don't get in court and sat down there. They speak, don't go too much down there. I'm on the truck. Went right down river, I mean a long way down river. Like 50 yards. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my float so I had to bring it back. What I'm going to have to do is get the bait ready I think and then chuck some out around my own as it goes down. Quite fresh this bread, so it's really soft. All right. Yeah. All 
right, I'll just put about 10 bits down. I'm gonna follow us right in the middle of it all. Oh, they're coming up already, that's good. All right, let's do that. Bang, right in the middle of that lot. I don't know which one's mine now, though. Well, I think I do, but... I think that's the one on the left, this side. Oh, I don't, this goes... Fish jumping out of the water for this lot, look. <laughs> which one's ours? Let's find out. Oh, I can see which one's ours now. Let me get someone to take it. It's definitely not a very peaceful place to come see. Not a quiet place to come, no, definitely not. Oh, that was right next to our bit of bread. That ain't fair, is it? It was a bit right next to it. Oh, that's our bit. Here we go. Come on. We had two bites on our bit, but it's still there from what I can see. Is it still on the hook, eh? It's going towards the bank. Let's just hold it back and see if it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. Ideal spot to get a chub or something to come up behind the other bank, but I can't say I'm not trying. I'm trying all the methods. Maybe I'm not doing too many today, so I only had 300 yesterday. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration, I actually did have 300 yesterday. Right under the trees on the far bank, it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> They just don't seem to be coming up there. Oh, another big one further down the river. It's got to be our turn soon, surely they're taking all the other bread. I don't think the folks putting them off us far enough away to not make any difference really. Right there, look. Yep, that's ours. Go on, a bit more. <laughs> yeah, and again, they're just nibbling it, they're not taking it. They're probably dace. Someone's just got chucked in. <laughs> huh? Someone's just got chucked in. Are they? Oh, 
That's what we want, one of them ones that just come up by the other side down. <laughs> it was a bit hot, was it? <laughs> Don't blame me jumping in the lake. It's been hot here, so... <laughs> Not sure how this bird is staying on this long. Me keep reeling the back and everything, but there is. Oh, that's our bird. Go on, take it. It's crazy. We're getting the bites, they're just not. Oh, fish on. There we go. And it's not a diddy one. <laughs> We've actually got a bit of a fight going on here. What is it though? Knew there was some better fish coming up. Wee! Got very slimy fish. Yep, give me a second, I'll show you what you look like. How's it going, all? Here we go. Oh, didn't want grass all over him, do we? It's one good thing I'm right next to, or I'm on the grass bank here. Yeah? Not a bad size, is it? Quite happy with that. Wee. Two wheels are best, how you doing? Yeah, thanks very much. Right, let's get it back in. Doing like to keep out of the water too long. Let's see if we can get another one. But that's basically mission accomplished. They come to get a bigger fish, and that's that's what you call a bigger fish out there. What else can we get coming up on that surface now? I'm covered in slime. <laughs> I can't reach the water to wash my hands. But we got the fish that we were after. Let's see if we can do it again. Maybe even bigger. Um, this loses to see what shorts are going in the wash when we get back anyway. <laughs> Tails in the car. <laughs> right. Now we know some of the bigger fish are there. Well, if we do anyway, I see them coming up at the moment. Here we go again. Get you back in the spot. Age 71 and they're starting fishing. That's not a problem, you can start fishing at any age. 
there's plenty of stuff on my channel if you want to learn some stuff or if you want to ask me any questions go ahead it's not a problem or drop me a message in the background and i'll help you out the best i can what sort of fishing are you starting freshwater sea or i've got quite a few subscribers that are what should we say in the in the elderly years but they're still fishing most weeks and catching plenty of fish Can we repeat what we just done? Or can we get something bigger? Who knows, we're about to find out. They're going through the good spot. No, it's starting to lose a bit of light now, Joe's no saying. If we've got the big ones here now, I'm sure we can get a few more casts in. It's half nine. <laughs> yeah. Why is it half nine? Yeah. yeah. We might have half nine. We'll probably better hang on till ten, yeah, I reckon. We won't better see. Yeah. Well, I won't be able to see. <laughs> Obviously I'll scare them up a little bit because they're uh, bringing that fish through to swim but let's get some more bread out there. Oh no, I've got a bite on the bread now. You can see the bread, it's not been took but it's getting nibbled. Yeah, they sound like carp are coming up but there ain't no carp in here I don't think. Hmm. Not like, well... There is a few in the broads, but I've never heard of them getting caught down this way. Oh, that's my bread, go on. And again, go on. <laughs> Something's nibbling at it, but I think it's just small dice. I still look really light on the camera, doesn't it? But it's getting dark. <laughs> Let's bring it back in the middle if we can, without it coming off. That's where we got the bite last time. I think they're flies. Carp down there, you got a lot of you. There's not so many in the broads, you do get the odd one, but they're more sort of you got nowhere to go and get them, and you still got to be lucky to get them. I've seen them sort of six, seven, eight pounders, but apparently there's 30 pounders in here, but not in this actual bit where I am. More out on the big, big broads, you know. There's a few fish starting to come up again, they're starting to get confident again. Yeah, he's getting more, so I'm just going to... Huh? He's getting more. Mm -hmm. Your bread just come off, I'll tell it to come off. You just have to... I'm just calling down and getting a bit darker, you see? Yeah, give the fish a bit more confidence. I've I did actually go out the other night, which I haven't put up on video, to the secret lake. Mm -hmm. And three of us went, six rods, not a single bite. I've been told the otters have been through there, so it might not be so secret anymore. If we can't fish it anymore, there's no fish. Which is a shame, because there was some... I will keep checking and keep, you know, keep going back there every now and again and just seeing if I can find some fish, but... No That's not looking there, too so. good. From what I could work out, there was, well, I could see them last time I went. There was some big white koi in there, some orange ones, yellowy sort of colour ones, some ghosties, there was all sorts. 
just swam past you the last time I went there when I'd done the video, but this time they weren't much about. Oh, that was a nice fish. There's still some big fish in the swim. Which got me lucky enough for one of them to take our bread. Or something, feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's normal because it's been sunny. Mm. Keep drifting over the back there. We don't really want to go there. We want to that come off. And if you're seeing them, yeah, you must have seen that jump out then. There's some bigger fish a bit further down the stream, taking the bread and thinking in. Let's see if we can get one over towards it, shall we? The plus one or a few fish or what? Hopefully that will drift down the middle. Nah. Oh, yeah, it's starting, to come, it's starting to calm down now. People are getting out of the water and it's a lot quiet. There's still some people swimming up, up behind us and that, but they're not actually on this part of the river now. But you know, you're right, there's been a lot of people swimming and paddleboarding and all sorts going on. We still managed to pull one of them big ones out of the bag, didn't we? And a couple of days so far. You never know. I've hooked up some big fish on my last cast before. Quite a few times. Floats just not quite where the fish are. It's hard to get the line to pull round that way. It pulls towards the bank the other side. I haven't really got time to set up a heavier float before it's dark to get a bit further over there. What's happened there? right in the right spot if we can get it to drift down the stream and not across the other side. Down there. <laughs> oh, there's a fish on our bread. Is it big? Oh, I didn't move it then because your arm's getting pulled the wrong way. Go on, take it. <laughs> Nibbling at the bread. Going the wrong way away from it. We want them to go the other way, but for some reason they're coming this way. Which is annoying. Just took that whole piece of bread there and you wouldn't even know anything to it. Yeah. It came up really quiet. Really gently. That was a chub probably. Yeah. Slowly took it. They're starting to go along the far bank. I 
to keep some more bread going in and keep them interested because I'd say we're starting to run out of time. That doesn't mean we can't get another one. There's a fox over the other side somewhere. I think that bloke walked down the road there, down to the bottom there. Yeah, down to the bridge near the garage, isn't it? Oh, that was a nice fish. They're still there, we just got to work out how we can cast into there. <coughs> All right, um, that's the line that's pulling it round, because I've got a short rod with me. That's what makes it hard. I'm going to have to actually try and cast to the spot. And then keep your line above the water. They're definitely there, and amongst the smaller ones, there's bigger ones. So we've got them coming up again anyway. I've had some nice carp lately and well I've got some videos coming. Even bigger than that. <laughs> Yeah, it's nearly dark, yeah. <laughs> oh, your bread come off over there. Maybe look where I land. Mm. Still something in here, but... Mm. I know we're about, but the bigger fish seem to be over there. Could obviously get over there on another bait, but it's not what they're taking. Yeah. We're just watching the dice over here again. Taken. Let's have a go out here then. Squirrel magnet fishing, how you doing? We've had a couple of dice and 
Uh, the chub. Oh, got a bite on our bread. Yeah, oh, that was a better fish. Go on, take it. Take it. <laughs> Struggling to actually, I can just about see the bread in this. They're very just. <laughs> Drifting in the flow too quick, that's putting them off, I think. Come on, give us one more fish. We're running out of time. We're trying hard. Right, we're over here this time. Oh, we're getting boats straight away on the bread. See what happened. The fish are more confident when that just goes with the flow of the river and don't get caught on the line and go too fast. They're in the perfect spot, we just need that take. We've had some decent chub. But we've had paddle boarders, swimmers, boats, all sorts going up and down the river. All evening. <laughs> you go back and have a look at the live, you'll see what we've been dealing with. Doesn't seem to be coming up there, no? Yeah. Um, a couple of days, Connor, and a nice job. cast in, the bread's still on, right in the spot where they've all been coming up. Just got to try and keep our line off the water as much as we can where the flow is. Keep it over there, best we can. Starting to come back this way but we might be lucky and get a bite before it. There's no other bread down there. 
a shame. That probably would have helped us out. Let's chance that and chuck a bit out. Fish coming up over there. Which one's our bread there? Caught these lilies there. Just need to move the bread just so I know which one's mine. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Oh, here they come. Lily, anyone? Bread was in a good spot, but my line was around the lily, so it weren't really working out. I couldn't drift down. They're still coming up. I'm going to have a run through on the bottom this time and big lump of bread on, see if they're down there as well. So I'm going to see the floats then. But we've been feeding hemp down there most of the evening. There's no reason why there ain't nothing down there.
Oh, I nearly can't see. to get one more one. Where is it? Maybe. That's in a good spot if I can get it to stay there. Uh, behind you. Oh, we've got Mr. Policeman coming up to see us. Mr. Policeman. How you doing? Alright buddy. Much going on? A few days and a chub. <laughs> Bit hard to see now though to be honest. Yeah, it's live. Live? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> how, many, how many followers you got? Uh, 1800. 1800. <laughs> <laughs> you got a road license for me buddy? We have, yeah. Uh, it's on my phone though. I've got it. Yeah, Joe's got it. <laughs> We've got the free road one. They come far. Up Salem. You've got the admin assistant. This is a screenshot. So we press details. You've got to tell me the date. There's no date on that. Just show me the date that would take. You've got details. Hit I. Just bear with me everyone, we're just having the old license checked. Mm. You seem to get every week now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't seen anyone for like 10 years. Everyone says that. Yeah. And now I'm seeing... I'm the horse to police and so I get horse to tell. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I've been up Lickland yeah. as well. So yeah. Sometimes we go around together, but often that's just me. So yeah, that's okay. That's only me and the environment agency even ask to, to produce yeah. it. Yeah, that's oh, right, the okay. environment agency. Yeah, yeah we're sort of friendly with them now because yeah. we, yeah, we go out a lot. So is it? All the lakes. <laughs> we see them. Yeah. But I had, I had three down here last year, so... Oh right. oh right, you're still getting people doing it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that still busy around? We did when when that was out of season. We were still seeing people on the boats. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they can't hardly get a rod, but yeah. people selling a rod. That's the problem. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Out it's season, a trouble. So yeah. Don't buy them out of season. We saw yeah. a bloke at Stanham. He said, "You're not meant to be fishing, you know." And he just went. They're not interested, are they? Interested. Well, what can you do? That's the trouble. All right, team. Yeah. Nice yeah. Season. yeah. Nice to see you. See you later. Is it quieting down a bit, round there now? No, he says. I will now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just the local policeman just checking the licenses. Didn't actually know they could do that, the policeman. Thought well, it was the environment agency had done that, but fair enough. Nothing to hide. <laughs> Me and Joe got one with the got the free rod ones. Oh, that was a nice fish. I'm just running through now with a bit of bread flake on, hoping to get a bite. From sort of mid water now. Oh, that's not very nice. Sorry about that.
Yeah, it's not going to be long now. A couple more casts, it's not going to be too long now. We literally can't see. And we've got a little drive home. We've got some other bits and pieces we've got to do. Let's have another quick go on the surface and just see if we can get one because they're still coming up. Seem to be quieting down a bit now, it's getting dark. Alright, let's drift through with this. Literally going to be the last couple of casts.
believe it or not, there's some paddle boarders there coming down the river in the dark. <laughs> Crazy. scaring off some of the nice fish on the surface. That's a shame. Right, this is the last cast everybody. Because I can't really see what's happening. But you never know, we might just get that take. And away it goes. Oh, there's some more coming as well. <laughs> oh, now I can see stuff taking bread and stuff out there. I don't know if it's mine. <laughs> I'm holding the line just in case I do get a take. Are you laughing at my last cast? Have I, have I had then 10? <laughs> I can just about still see the float, but, and the bread, but there's a 10 ton of paddleboard as they're coming, so. I was seeing ladies that come with the other one that came in a long while ago. Yeah, right, everyone, we're gonna have to call it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see me. I'll try and say me thank yous. <laughs> Cheers everybody for coming in. Appreciate your support on the channel. Please give us a good old thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And I'll have some videos and stuff coming soon and some more fishing. Be walking around the beaches, be touring some of the towns, out on the boat in the broads, all sorts of things. So, see you all soon. I'll face you that way while I'm packing up. Just, you might see sort of, sort of the sunset going down. <laughs> I can hardly see the fucking flow away and stuff. I might even have to pack the right up with the car. I was going to say, you've got to chuck them in. <laughs> My new stuff. One cheap. Oh, I watch them fish now coming up. Like. <laughs> well, at least we had a big one. That was better than not getting one, man. More, more fish in a new spot. Let's the rest of the bread and then slice in a bit. And get ourselves a fresh one. I'm gonna put some big lumps out here now and just see what uh, big chub or anything come up. <laughs> well, I'm putting the bread away. And the bait. Rubbish. Yeah, all the rubbish in there. The maggots are pretty much past it. Nearly all casters, but I'll feed them to my koi. Nice evening out anyway. Mm. 
still got a couple of worms left. I'm throwing the prawns away. Keep the rubbish with the rubber prawns. Mr. Perch will eat them. No rubbish there? Do some art, take that. They <laughs> They are strong. Hemp. Put them in there then. Right, nothing left on the bank, apart from footprints. <laughs> Say goodbye to the river everyone. I'll keep you going with me till we get around to the car if you like, just in case the mill is clear. We've still got some decent fish taking bread down there. They're actually bigger fish, which is quite annoying. <laughs> but we caught, we had dace, we had chub. Then there's a lock, and then there's another whole bit of river. It's gonna get a bit dark walking through the woods. It will get lighter again out the other side. <laughs> it's getting very close to being dark, believe it or not. The camera's pretty good at picking up any bit of light. Yeah, it's a lot of dark, it? yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can hardly see where you're walking, can you? Mm. I suppose if you're sensible, that's a good place to play, isn't it? It's not deep or nothing. Mm. If there's lots of you. Yeah, cheers for coming in, Diana, and sharing links and stuff. Right, Diana. Yeah. And anyone else, really appreciate you coming in. Here we go, we've got a bit more light again now. Oh, it's a lot more quiet here now. What we should have done really is wait for these lot to pack up and then had to go over there where we wanted to. 
we'll do that another day. We'll come down with all the gear. We'll fish it in the dark. They even left barbecues and all sorts of that. It is. All this rubbish and that, look. Not very nice, is it? There's some people visiting. No need to, the bin's right there, look. There's no need for it. Just pick it up and put it in the bin. Should be people going now, not coming. I reckon there's a lot of people with sunstroke tonight. And I had a few beers and stuff as well. We're gonna have a rough night. <laughs> still people going. There's still plenty of people about. Our car's up the lane here because we couldn't park. <laughs> Got a nice posh houses around there. Don't mean that in a bad way. They're just you know really nice, houses really nice, there. nice the big, <laughs> yeah, mansions, estates, whatever you want to call them. They're bigger than my house, put it that way. Oh, the gear's pulling my arm off. I've got it all on one arm because I'm carrying the camera. Normally, the car would be here. I was hiding up there somewhere. <laughs> you better see a bit more when I get in the screen and turn the headlights on. There's another place up there where they have dues and stuff. I can see the car, the ghost of the car anyway. We're in highlight now. You better see in a sec. Once I get in the car and put the headlights on, you better see like daylight again. But obviously, I'm not fishing anymore. I can keep you on for a little bit longer. A lot of people like to see the drive. I normally get moaned out if I turn it off before I start doing the drive. And there's the car, look. Hardly feel my arm. <laughs> oh. ah, ah, ah. Oh. Trying to get your phone run over. Alright everyone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Boat's trying to flash me to go through everyone and I'm standing at the back of the car. to see some light again. As long as we're still going. Sometimes we end up with a dark screen when I transfer it over and stuff. Oh, it's warm in the car. The 
excuse me. Don't have any language or anything like that on my channel, I'm afraid. That person will now get blocked. Look in the road. What are they doing? Is there any way out? So I've got to sit here. He's under. Someone with the door open and not let him move. What do I do? Anyway, that's not a very sensible way of doing it. If you jump something, someone you turn around and do it from the front, wouldn't you? Idea what's going on, everyone, but there's literally no way through. I'll just go. Cheers. Are you going that way? <laughs> no, that way. Set my gun. Be easier to push it to be honest. Give it a toe. Strange question, am I going the other way? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just drift down the middle. Well, I'll be sitting here to go the other way. Oh, maybe you can go the way. Got any power at all? Yeah, no. Well, yeah, no. Just say, should we all give it a push? No, no, no. He, um, did you know that other chap who was fishing? No, 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 no idea. he never had a license. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. There is, yeah. It's terrible, isn't it? No, right. no, no idea. 
All right. See you Cheers. Later. See you later. It's way pretty cool. It's crazy, isn't it? The price of a license, some people don't get one. <laughs> you know, it's not expensive. The fine is a lot more than what the license is, so you might as well get the license. <laughs> Goes towards having the rivers and stuff anyway. I suppose if some people only fish like a week at the year on their holiday, you can you get think, you can get yeah. a short one. Yeah, just, do you think they just get a bit of a short one? I suppose people think because they're tucked out of the way in places like that that they're not going to get checked, but yeah. they check everywhere around here, so it's just not worth it. We'd do it anyway, would we? It's not, yeah. not worth the hassle. What are you saving £45? Three years fishing. Well, 30 or whatever if you only have two woods. Well, yeah. We always get the big one, don't we? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that van was stuck and they had got a flat battery that he didn't want to push. Yeah. There was four of them standing there at the van, so... Yeah. It's quite strange really, the police don't drive around with a jump pack on charge in the back of their cars. So that'd be, yeah, but that'd be so easy to do and that'd make things oh, yeah, simple. It's not the job to do it, but that's the thing. Clear people up in their ways and things like that, you know, dangerous situations seconds instead of having to wait for a recovery for something simple. Cheaper, look, I didn't even know to be honest. We're not that age yet. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, even if that was £100, I'd still get it. It's not, you know, yeah. it's a whole year's fishing. I don't see the point in trying to dodge it. Yeah, you know, it's not even £10 a month if you go yeah. in. Does that mean Stephen got his cheaper? Being an OAP? <laughs> I ain't seen him tonight, I don't know where he is. I reckon he's watching in the background. Could be. He might have fell asleep after being out in that whole sun. Yeah. Can't blame him. And he was bike riding, so he must be boiling. I'll drop him eventually later, see what he's up to. I'm glad I come out and got a bit of air because I couldn't breathe. Yeah. We were working. So it's quite nice now. The you know, it's still high. Well, we've got 23 degrees. Been a lovely night for night fishing. Those are prawns of them. <laughs> Stinky old things. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting scrubbed up in a minute. Anyone else going out fishing over the weekend then?
Off Road Tuesday, yeah? Sounds good. Not sure when I'm out next, but I've got some videos coming up. What are you going after? Or is it just whatever is biting? There's a bugs flying about. Get splattered by all the cars. <laughs> I'll be turning off in a minute. Ooh. Right, everyone, we're off. We'll see you all soon in the next live or the next video, premiere, etc. Thanks a lot for coming in. See you again soon. Yep, yeah. cheers for coming in. Two wheels. Night, Roger.